as of now the status quo continues because of the split verdict On July 4th a split verdict was delivered in the case of Tamil Nadu minister Sandil Balaji. Sandil Balaji was arrested by the enforcement directorate last month over alleged money laundering. During the hearing the two judge bench reserved their orders and today the verdict was unveiled. Justice Nisha Banu deemed the habeas corpus plea filed by Sandil Balaji's wife as maintainable. In addition, she stated that the enforcement directorate does not possess the authority to seek police custody under the Prevention of Money Laundering Act. Justice Banu dismissed the ED's application to exclude the period of Balaji's hospital treatment from his custody period. However, there was a difference of opinion. The other judge, D. Bharata Chakravarti, raised an important question: Can a habeas corpus plea be maintained after a remand order? Without finding any evidence of illegality in Balaji's remand, the judge deemed the plea dismissible. Furthermore, he emphasized that the period of Balaji's hospital stay should be excluded from his custody, noting that Balaji had complained of chest pain leading to hospitalization and subsequent heart surgery just a week after his arrest on June 14. As of now, the status quo continues because of the split verdict. One of the honorable judges has accepted our plea that the ED is having no power to seek for police custody. ED is having a power to arrest number one and seek for a judicial custody alone. ED is having no power to seek for police custody is our stand, and it has been found favour with one of the honorable judges. Number two. it has been held by the honorable judge one of the honorable judge that it is a case of illegal arrest so whatever we said whatever we argued is found favor by one of the honorable judges the second honorable judge justice bharat chakravarti said again one thing in our favor saying that habeas corpus petition is maintainable in cases of illegal arrest and illegal remand however the honorable judge said that on the facts of this case he is not able to agree with the the first judge so the matter is going before third we know that whether it will go to third bench or it will go to a learned uh, uh, other uh, honorable judge who is to be nominated by the honorable chief justice so